So? So? Do you like food? I fucking love food, dude. <laughs> you know what I love most about food? What? Every last bite. <laughs> um, you know those people who are like, wouldn't it be great if we just absorb nutrients through your hands? Alejandro would literally sabotage that technology so he could keep eating. And so would I probably. <sighs> We would make the world a worse place <laughs> yeah. just to improve our uh, culinary, experience. culinary experience. Food. Food has effects on our society. Food affects our lives. Our food industry affects the environment. Food affects us emotionally. Food affects our finances. Food can be used for political agendas. Some people love to cook. Others hate it. Some people can't afford food. Others don't like to eat. Food keeps you healthy, but it can also make you sick. Our world revolves around food. But out of all of this, I think what food does the most for me is bring people together. Take my housemates, for example. We spend the vast majority of our time together either shopping, cooking, or eating. We make our food decisions based off what we can share with one another. We even talk about food and watch food videos together. If it wasn't for food, we wouldn't have an excuse to spend time together by going to 7-Eleven at 2 a.m. on finals week. 7-Eleven food stores? Is that what they are? Yeah, apparently. <laughs> They stopped, they stopped the term convenience and they went for food as if to pretend that anything that they sell in that store is food. Hey, you get to deposit all your checks. Oh yeah, while you're at it. Oh, the ones I didn't bring with me? Yeah. Okay. Although we spend all of this time together, we are all pretty unique individuals when it comes to how we treat food. For example, Lena loves food more than anyone know I know. She's constantly eating small meals throughout the day. Delicious meals, by the way. When she's bored, hungry, or just wants to procrastinate on an assignment, she decides to cook up the most extravagant meals just because she can and she's good at it. And even if she's making something as simple as eggs, she doesn't spare any expense. She makes the best eggs I could ever possibly imagine every time. Whether she has any knowledge of the dish that she's trying to prepare, she doesn't care. She just enjoys the challenge every time. I sometimes think that Lena can be a little bit crazy because I've never seen anyone commit so much time and effort into their meals, and it's just something that I would never do. But I think the best part of Lena's relationship with food is her confidence and ambition. She's not afraid to try to make something new or try to make something that's very time consuming or even somewhat expensive because she genuinely loves food. She loves making food and she loves sharing her meals with her friends and her family. Regardless of our friendship, food affects us in different ways. Take Vita, for example. She and I share very similar food experiences. How do you manage your money in terms of food? Oh, so I had my dad buy my groceries in the beginning of the quarter and then try to like ration it or whatever. When did you start cooking? Um, beginning of the school year. This year? Yeah. How often do you eat throughout the day? Mm, I only eat like breakfast and lunch, so I don't eat dinner. Two meals per day. Two meals? Filling meals or? Full meals and then I snack on like Filipino snacks. Oh. Because <laughs> I still have some. Or chips. So since you most of the time don't have time to cook, where do you get your food from? The express store on campus. <laughs> or sometimes I just make Sandwiches with like bread and peanut butter and then just like Alex's eat. life. Yeah. Or whatever Lena feeds me. <laughs> Lena is great. Oh I did it! <laughs> yeah. Or people offer me their food. Cool. Okay, Vita, take a bite of this. Yeah, <laughs> just like now. Oh good. Alejandro, with all your friends back home, huh? do you eat with them? As often or close to as often as you did with us? Not nearly. No. He has a mom. Mm -hmm. Would you genuinely say that you're closer right to there. us than you are with them? Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks, Vita. I feel like yeah. you're losing it. I don't know if it's because of food, but.
<laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> if you could hypothetically envision you eating with them for whatever reason, do you think you'd end up being closer to them? Or is that too <laughs> drastic to say? We go to In-N-Out together. But that's all, that's the only place we ever go. And Happy Donuts. Uh, I, like trying new food places together? Yeah, we, I think that's something we do. I don't eat out at home. I mean, we tried all of the Santa Cruz places together, or mostly together. That's true, actually. Well, we recommended the good ones to each other when we went to the other. Yeah. yeah. Our group met our freshman year. On the first day, we were all hallmates in our dorm building. We never knew that we were going to get so close, but our friendship grew rather quickly. I think once we moved into the apartments the next year, and then moved into the house that we're currently in now, the amount of time that we spent in the kitchen, or in the dining room, or in the living room eating, has just made us more into a family. We can rely on each other more, and we can share with each other more. And I think the food is just used as a mechanism to bring us closer together. If food was taken out of our lives, our relationship wouldn't fall apart. But I think we'd lose something. We all have our own stories and backgrounds and experiences, but I think something as fundamentally as important as food is something that draws us together, not just my friends group, but our society in general. It's what brings people together because everyone needs it and everyone wants it. And sharing is something that we are, I think, accustomed to.